Did you know that the Muscle Up technique has actual checkpoints that you can follow for the perfect implementation? Bear with me and I show you all of them. What's up guys, it's Adam from gymnasticsmethod.com and in this video I'm going to show you the 5 checkpoints of the perfect rings muscle up. If you don't want to miss my videos about bodyweight training and lifestyle, please subscribe and click on the bell. Thank you. So, I'm going to talk about the checkpoints of the rings muscle up, but if you're interested in how you can learn or get better in the bar muscle up, you can watch my previous video about that. The muscle up technique on the rings is unique and I think it's easier to learn because it's really easy to break it down into the following points that are crystal clear to understand and check point by point. I call these checkpoints because you can really stop and be aware whether you are performing the technique properly. You'll understand that right now. Let's see the five points in order, then one by one. First, false grip. Second, scapular depression. Third, touching the chest. Fourth, bent arm support. And five, straight arm support. That's it, and you're up there. How simple is that, right? Um, not really, but don't worry, because there is a clear process to achieve all points and do them right. Let's break it down. With this one, you won't be able to do the muscle up properly, so you definitely need to learn it. I know it's uncomfortable at the beginning and it will hurt your skin, but you can get used to it quickly. Learning the false grip is a process. It's important to highlight that this grip requires proper wrist joint preparation and strengthening. After that, you need to build up the false grip itself with progressions to avoid overload injuries. The point of the false grip is that the rings should run diagonally on the palm. Bend your hands in the palm direction, so you should use your hands as a hook and lean on the pisiform bone on the ring close to the wrist line. If you want to avoid injuries and you're interested in the proper joint preparation, click the link below and watch the prehab series on gymnasticsmethod.com. The scapular stability is really important in bodyweight training because even in the basic exercises you need to pay attention to the scapula position. The scapula depression is a key step of the pull-ups and muscle-ups. The scapula depression ensures the full range of motion. In case of pull-ups, it means that your chest touches the bar. In case of muscle-ups, it means your chest touches your fingers or the rings. It's important to understand that the movement of the scapulas are also the movement of the shoulders. So when we talk about depressing the scapulas, we are also talking about depressing the shoulders. In most cases, it's simpler and more understandable to talk about the movement and position of the scapulas when we are discussing complex movements. So, if you don't do proper scapula depression in your pull-ups or muscle-ups, your shoulders will stay elevated and you won't be able to do the full range of motion. If you feel your scapula depression is not the best, do scapula shrugs in hanging or scapula pulls with arched back. As we discussed in the previous point, if you're depressing your scapulas, you have the opportunity to do full range of motion pull-up. So when you pull yourself up, you'll be able to touch the rings with your chest. It's important when you're pulling yourself up, bend your arms right next to your body. Don't let your elbows move to the side. If that's done and you touch the rings or your fingers with your chest, you got the checkpoint and you're ready for the transition. From here, you need to lean forward with your upper body and turn the rings under your shoulders while keeping your elbows right next to your body. To do this comfortably, you need good shoulder mobility, which I won't talk about in this video because it's a different topic, but if you're interested, check out the prehab series on gymnasticsmethod.com, link in the description. The next checkpoint is the bent arm support, for which I mentioned you need good shoulder mobility to do it comfortably. You can stop here for a moment and see that you're over the rings and arrive to the support. You have done the hard part. There is only one movement left from here. From the bent arm support, do a dip to arrive to straight arm support and turn the rings out with locked elbows. With this, you can crown your muscle up, which if you did all the checkpoints, you performed the right way. From here, you have to do everything the same way, but reversed. Descend into the bent arm support, turn the rings in front of your chest or even next to it as it doesn't matter as much here and descend control to the lower end point in the passive hang and hold the false grip. It's important that you won't always have to stop at the checkpoints. You can nicely do them together in a continuous motion by stopping at the lower and upper end points for a moment. 
The point is that in the learning phase, it's worth doing it in pieces, so you learn the movements properly. At first, do it with supporting on your feet, as you can see in the video. At the beginner level, you can literally stand on the ground and start from squat. The next level is when you are supporting on your feet in front of your body on a higher surface. Finally, you can do it with your full body weight, but at this point, it's important to do the basic exercises properly on the rings, do the false grip with confidence with your full body weight. As a beginner, practice this technique with low intensity before your strength training, or with a more intense execution, you can do it as a strength training in three to four sets with three to six reps. If you want to do a complete muscle-up tutorial, step-by-step step, and get access to all the gymnastics method tutorials, workout programs, series, nutrition and much more, click the link below and start your journey right now. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did so, please like, share and write a comment what do you want to see in the next videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell for more. See you next Friday at 3pm Eastern Time.